Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to reset an iPad to factory settings. In this video, I will be outlining all of the instructions in a step-by-step -step manner. As you can see right here, I have an iPad mini, um, but the process is pretty much the same for all of the different versions of the iPad. So let's get right to it. You're going to start off by clicking the settings app just like that and as you can see it opens up um, a wide variety of options you're going to go to the general section just like that then you're going to scroll to the bottom and you will see that there's an option that says reset you're going to click reset just like that and it brings you a few different options you can see that it says reset all settings erase all content and settings reset network settings reset keyboard dictionary reset home screen layout and reset location and privacy you are going to go to the erase all content and settings option click on it and it just gives you a little bit of a warning it says this will delete all media and data and reset all settings you click the erase option and it just gives you one more warning are you sure you want to continue all media data and settings will be erased this cannot be undone and before you click the erase option make sure that you are sure that you want to erase um, all content and settings and give your iPad a factory reset so when you are sure click erase and as you can see the iPad um, basically just starts to reboot and your iPad will pretty much automatically reboot and erase all of the content data and settings and it will basically be um, it will basically reset the iPad to factory settings um, and depending on the amount of content and data and media that is on your iPad this can take a while um, so just go ahead let it reset give it some time and that's basically it in this video I have shown you how to reset an iPad to factory settings. Just follow the instructions in the is follow the instructions in this video and you'll be good to go and once again this may take a while depending on the amount of content media and data that uh, that you have on your iPad so just give it some time let it work its way through and that's basically it I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and that's all I have for you today thanks for watching